Hello everyone, this is 0665 here. This video will be uploaded both to my main channel and on Jimmy Master Animatronics. Today I will be showing you the Rock and Roll Scooby Doo toy sold exclusively by Warner Bros. Studios at the Warner Bros. store. Now, this is not Jemmy. I'm not sure what company made this one, to be honest with you guys, but. Um, I was actually really excited when I found this. I found this at Goodwill about a week or two ago for $1.99. And when I found this, it was buried in a big brown box, like a huge box. Rather than them having their uh, animated plush toys on the toy shelves, they just now have them in a big brown box, which is really annoying. Um, he was at the very bottom. I had seen something red, grabbed him. And at first I thought he was just a plush version because there is two Rock and Roll Scoobies. This one and one that you just moved the uh, guitar, the strumming hand by hand and the battery's going to the guitar itself. It's, it's a really silly looking one, but it's like a more of a preschool version. Um, I thought it was on at first, but then when I realized that, oh, this is the one with the, this is the uh, moving and vibrating one. And I got really excited because this is one I've actually been wanting to find for a while. I was thinking going off eBay at one point when I was really into collecting the rock and roll type toys. But I was like, uh, these things are too expensive. So I just figured I'd see if I can find them locally. And of course, I finally got Scooby. I actually did like this one. Um, he takes three AA batteries. He plays Soul Man. And he squeezes his foot. He strums his guitar. And he moves from side to side and vibrates. Now there's like a handful of other ones that do the same motion. One that's very well known is, of course, the... Uh, I think it was Dandy or Dandy or Kids of America. One of the two made the Rock and Roll Snowman, Santa, and Reindeer. Those all use the same common mech as Scooby does. So, of course, when I did find his guitar was like snapped off of him, so I popped it back in place. And it's my surprise, it it worked. I was really happy. No repairs whatsoever. So this is the front. The side, his leather, his leather jacket and denim jeans are in like really good shape. His bags go on his back. No, well, in his back. Side view. Here it says. Designed exclusively for the Warner Bros. Studio. Main channel. Sold just around like uh, 2000s. It's really cool. And he has a really short activation, so I'll play him twice for you guys. Also, here's his guitar. Black and red guitar. No lights, of course. He doesn't light up. But now, without further ado, let's see him in action. Now, I kind of wish they would have, you know, given him maybe one or two or three songs or so, or something different. It's kind of interesting that he plays Soul Man, because he's, he's a rock and roll star. He's not, like, a soul man. He's not like a soul type of looking dog. I mean, I mean, I could be wrong, but the audio for it just <laughs> does not fit. I feel like they requested it, and they're like, oh, we don't know what song we can put in there without getting copyrighted. Uh, some sort of copyright issue. You know what? Let, let's do Soul Man. Yeah, Soul Man sounds like a, like a good choice. Let, let's go with that one. I mean, no hate on the song. It just sounds more appealing for other types of musical toys. Just not one that's rock and roll based. Anyways, here he is again. And there you have it. This was the Warner Bros. Rock and Roll Scooby-Doo from the 2000s. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.